Some places have no water at all. But in some places, there's water in the air, even when the ground is dry. The Namid beetle survives in the desert by collecting dew each morning. The basic idea is that water condenses on objects that are colder than the surrounding air. Many plants collect dew with their leaves and direct that water down to their thirsty roots. Tim and Nick Werby are brothers living in San Francisco. Maybe that's why they think about fog. They go to Lowell High School and working with their science teacher and UC Berkeley, created a project for the EDF Design Challenge. We were trying to figure out how to use dew to help people in dry areas grow food. Dew can be a small but reliable supply of water. In the morning when the ground is still cold and the air heats up, dew will form. But for plants, condensing water is only half the challenge. In hot areas, the water is soon evaporated back into the air by the sun. We have to solve two problems. Condensing water from the air is one problem. We want to maximize that. The other problem is getting the water to the roots before it evaporates. If you go deep enough in the soil, you can get below the level where it will evaporate, and then plants can use it. What we came up with is basically a funnel that collects dew and then drips it deep into the ground. Different materials work, clay, plastic, and metal. Plastic is cheap and can be recycled, but it doesn't hold the cold temperature as well. Clay is heavy and porous. Metal is more expensive, but also recyclable. Above ground, there are different approaches that can be used to collect the dew. Some condense the water from the air. Some collect the water from fog. It's a simple idea, and it could help grow food in places where water is scarce. And once it's installed, there's nothing else to do. No additional energy, no moving parts, nothing to maintain. And people don't have to walk miles each day to irrigate their plants. We call it drips. Water for plants, one drop at a time. Drips is open source and free. Different regions need different approaches to dew collection. Manufacturers anywhere in the world can adapt drips to local conditions and sustainable materials. Information and designs are available at dripsproject.com.